ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഐ എം രാഹുൽ സോ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡു ദ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ഇൻ വിങ്സ് വൺ ടി ഫോർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ജാവ വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ പ്രീ റിക്വസൈറ്റ് ഫോർ ടി ഫോർ ട്രാക്ക് ഇൻ വിങ്സ് വൺ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഔട്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ കോഴ്സ് വിങ്സ് ഫോർ ടി ഫോർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ജാവ Let's move to the hands-on part. So after launching, you will get in the Hacker Trank page. And in the confirmation section, you have to uh, give the give your name, experience and check the boxes. After that, you will redirect to the dashboard. so this is our question coding chair requirements um now here is we have to do the coding so actually the coding uh, actually the logic here is we have four letters c r u and l in this if it is c means a new employee arrives in the work workroom if there is any chair anything any uh, seat is available the employee takes it otherwise a new one is purchased that is for c after that r uh, the employee will go into the meeting room and freeing up the seat and for you an employee arrives from the meeting room if there is any seat available there then he will take it otherwise a new one will purchased for l the employee will employee will leaves the workroom freeing up the seat seat or chair like that so for these things we have to write the logic for that i am initializing two variables total and available total is for new seat new chair available is for already available already occupied or already available seats here i am using the if else if uh condition so first going for c at the same time when i am checking for c i have to check for if there is any available seat if it's available means i have to decrement after that if it's not i, have, I can take a new one next is for r s 
so here i am incrementing because he is leaving the leaving to the meeting room so freeing up a seat now the total will be uh, unchanged so no need to do anything next u here we have to check the condition like we have done at first if it's available means or means if there are any uh, available seat means it will decrement otherwise new one will purchased then last one l for that we can give only the increment for available after these things we can return the result before returning we have to get the total so that's it we can run the code so it's compiled successfully now we can run all test cases so all test cases are success now we can submit it will redirect to the first play page afterwards So